You can see here that my quarterback, my starting quarterback is an 85 overall improviser, while my backup is a scrambler. My, both my backups are scramblers. Same thing with the running backs. We have an elusive back, a power back, and a receiving back. Uh, but when I go into my online uh, dynasty mode, because I recently changed playbooks and I didn't do it the way that they wanted me to do it, all my quarterbacks are field generals now. All my running backs also changed. They're all now elusive backs. And all of their overalls have changed as well. <laughs> If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shot, sniffing out the college football cheese as always. In today's video, we have an unreported patch from EA. This is something that they've put out uh, kind of undercover. A lot of times they'll put out patches and they don't actually put out patch notes. It's typically only when they put out like the really big uh, major patches so far this year anyway that they put out patch notes. Although sometimes in the past, especially in Madden, when they put out small patches, they would still put out patch notes. But I noticed this year when it comes to college football and Madden, they've been pretty secretive about some of their patches. But I have some information about what was patched today and it's really geared towards fixing some of the glitches that they created themselves when they put out the last major patch so i don't know why ea typically tries to keep this stuff hush hush or under wraps i think in reality they probably just don't want people to know how buggy this game is because it's just bad press at the end of the day they're still trying to sell copies i know they they the, the games have launched but football season starts whether it's college this weekend or um nfl in a couple of weeks and they don't want people to be deterred from buying the game they want people to be excited for football and gotten by the game and if there's a lot of a lot of press out there about all the problems that's going on with the game it might deter people actually from buying the game now before getting into these notes there is a target date for a larger update a big title update similar to the one that we got on august 8th and the rumors are suggesting that it will come out on august 29th which i'm not sure where uh, they got this information from but there's definitely going to be another major patch coming within the next week or so definitely this month so if you guys want me to keep you up to date make sure to be a subscriber and let me know in the comment section what you guys want them to fix specifically because I'm hoping that they keep an eye on things like this to see what other community members are saying. Me personally, I know one of my biggest issues is every time I go into an online game, I have to reset my audibles for every single formation that I use. I have to reset my depth chart for every single uh, position that I, 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 I like to have changed, as you can see I'm doing here. So I know EA took away the ability uh, to have custom playbooks. But like, give us the ability to change our audible plays or something. Give us the ability to do something so we don't have to do this every single game because it's it's costly. If you're trying to set up your audibles, you can get delay of game penalties on the first drive. Or a lot of times I'll just have to sacrifice some time out so that I don't have those problems. I mean, there's just, you know, these things just make the game annoying and frustrating. And that's sad because it is a really fun game. It just really needs a lot of small tweaks that would make it way more enjoyable and a lot less uh, challenging to play based on the fact that you can't change stuff. And when it comes to like off line dynasty i don't know why every single game i go into my tap and tap goes back to tap and hold when it comes to the kick meter and my 200 percent goes down to 100 percent when it comes to uh heat seeker um for the ball so like there's a lot of things that just don't save from game to game to game which is just so infuriating because it feels like this should really be an easy fix but let's go ahead and let's get into the things that actually did fix. Like I said, it's more specifically geared towards Dynasty. Although I'm not sure if this first one here is a gameplay bug in general. Where apparently there was a glitch that, after once again, came out after the last August 8th patch. That if you were to pull up your offensive play arc, that the scoreboard would disappear. And like the play clock would disappear. Now obviously the stuff that's on the scoreboard is probably the most important information. The down and distance, uh, the, the, the time, the play clock, the score... All these things really dictate what you're going to do on offense based off of the game situation. So without that information, uh, that's pretty uh, that's pretty important. And I don't know if that glitch would be like that for the rest of the game or if it was just for the rest of the play. That never happened to me personally. If that ever happened to you guys, let me know in the comment section. But I never noticed that glitch. I've never noticed any of the glitches that I'm going to tell you guys about. And that's because I haven't gotten that far in Dynasty mode. But that looks like something they tried to patch. The next two updates are specifically for Dynasty mode. Uh, one of them sounded like a pretty big issue called the scheme playbook glitch uh which is something that i'm not sure if that started it with the last update but apparently there's a glitch in dynasty where if you try to switch playbooks from the schemes and playbooks tab instead of the edit coach tab found under the coach column it would change all the tendency traits of the players on your entire team so if you had like an a6 overall receiver uh that was like a physical tendency he would go down to like a 79 overall deep threat tendency 
uh, when you switch to a different uh, playbook and then back out of the menu. Now, I don't really know. Once again, this hasn't happened to me. I actually just did this, though. I actually did just uh, switch playbooks because I'm labbing Alabama's playbook in my offline dynasty. So I went from Texas State's playbook to Alabama, and I didn't notice that issue yet. Uh, but maybe it's something I should check. So I actually decided while recording this video to check this out. And you can see here, I'm in the regular depth chart. You can see here that my quarterback, my starting quarterback is an 85 overall improviser, while my backup is a scrambler. My Both my backups are scramblers. Same thing with the running backs. We have an elusive back, a power back, and a receiving back. Uh, but when I go into my online uh, dynasty mode, because I recently changed playbooks and I didn't do it the way that they wanted me to do it, all my quarterbacks are field generals now. All my running backs also changed. They're all now elusive backs because that's what fits that particular scheme. Uh, so yeah, obviously I got I got this. I just I literally just changed my playbook last night. But at least this confirms that it's not going to be retroactive. So if you have the same issue, you're going to have to start your dynasty mode over, or the patch just didn't take at all, which happens from time to time too. So to figure this out, we're actually going to I'll restart a dynasty for the purpose of this video, and I'll change playbooks just to see if um, it has the same effect. So I did change playbook over to Texas A&M just to see if there was any change as far as the overalls or the uh, the tendencies of my players. And it looks like it did not change. So they obviously fixed this patch. You can see my quarterbacks are now still improviser, scrambler. My running backs are still um, the same. So obviously they did patch that. That's at least confirmation that they did fix that issue. But at the same time, like I said, it sucks. I'm probably going to have to restart my offline dynasty. Although I did find this workaround if you're one of the people that wants to try to go through this setup rather than uh, trying to restart your dynasty if you're having this issue. Apparently there was a post on Reddit here where this person was able to fix that. So I'll go and I'll leave that on screen for a few seconds that, uh, for people that want to see this and try this. But you can always pause the screen as well. So I'm going to get into the last issue that they tried to fix. And the last one is the ability to change freshman positions after recruiting. Now, this is probably most important when it comes to the athletes. A lot of people know if they play this that they recruit athletes and have to change their position. Well, apparently, when it comes to freshmen in this particular category, you couldn't do that. It makes it sound like athletes weren't the only positions that were affected. It just seems like that's obviously the biggest issue since there isn't actually an athlete position on the field. So, I mean, I, once again, I haven't gotten through the first season of my offline dynasty. And it doesn't appear like I'm going to based off the fact that one of the bugs that they just tried to patch got me. Now, there are two more patches that were uh, found by creator, content creator Bordeaux, who I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he was at EA Studios playing in the original uh, gameplay trailer uh, when they were first showing like full gameplay and features and stuff like that. I'm not sure if it's the same guy, but I think it is. But either way, if it is him, you can see he's obviously connected pretty close to EA to be invited down for that. But also it says here that he confirmed that annual non-conference games rotate correctly and scoreboards also work when simulating using play options and don't disappear. However, they still disappear on the sim screen though until you select play moment and choose your first play. So that's obviously some good information there. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there because I don't want this video to be too long. If you guys wanna see more tips on college football, I'll have that pop up on screen though. So just click links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.